Hi everyone, in today's video I'm doing something a little different, uh, something I haven't done in a few years, it really has nothing to do with my colonies, but I decided to attend the open colony demonstration today, uh, Walker County, Alabama Beekeeping Club. Uh, that's the first club I ever joined uh, right after I got into beekeeping. And I'm trying to video this from a perspective of a new beekeeper, kind of curious, uh, trying not to say anything, just looking over everybody's shoulders, trying to learn. So I just want to kind of share that view and perspective. There'll be three different groups here and we'll get to hear from about six or seven different beekeepers. And it's a great place to get together, share ideas. You learn from experienced beekeepers. You, you learn different ideas and perspectives. Everybody sees things a little bit differently. I quite enjoy that part of beekeeping is exchanging ideas and, and learning from each other. I think one of the biggest mistakes uh, people can make in beekeeping is, is not checking their ego at the door. They, you have a little, little success and, and you you know you start to become complacent and, and then you close the door to learning and that that's an unfortunate thing but beekeeping will humble you you're not never going to totally do everything right you're not ever going to totally be 100 percent successful i certainly am not and i don't expect to ever be but I, I really enjoy learning not just about beekeeping but anything that i can that's interesting how it works and why it works so that's what i enjoy about these types of events but i thought it'd be a good idea it's a good fellowship get to visit with some beekeeping friends that you perhaps exchange with on social media and stuff sit around talk have good good food to eat after the open hive demonstration but it's just a good time overall so now let's present the 2023 version of the walker county beekeepers association open hive demonstration which by the way is hosted at good friend of mine Ricky Grace's home and his apiary I hope you enjoy so here we're at the home of Ricky Grace just outside of Jasper Alabama in Walker County beautiful scenery here absolutely beautiful picture perfect day you can see vitex in the background some white Dutch clover he also has some fruit trees there and kind of a rustic tin building back there he runs approximately 20 colonies and uh, we certainly do appreciate him allowing us to come there for this open hive demonstration, which he's hosted for several years. He's president of the Walker County Beekeepers Association. So let's get our smoker lit and get started. You can tell a lot about what's going on in your beehive if you just come and watch the bees going in and out of it. So a lot of times you don't even need to go inside them. Just watch them on the landing board. Are they bringing in pollen? Do you see pollen? Well, see, he's got a bunch of dead bees in front of his too. Yeah. Huh. What do you think could cause the dead bees? Well, mites. If they had mites, but that could be. Or like Randall be. said, part of it. They usually don't pile up in front if they from a mite. Have they just work themselves to death? <laughs> they usually die out in the oh. out out. You don't ever see them. One of the things is that Carolina jasmine, yeah, that's what we were talking about. and uh, about it's it. toxic to them. And we've had well, we've had part of a hive do like that, yeah. and we've had the whole hive die. We had the bee inspector out to verify that that's what it was. Huh. Oh, really? So uh, yeah, I had a. Uh, kill that, out like I'm that. not saying that's what that is, but it could be a, but it could be some kind of disease. So everybody looks pretty good on the front. I can't see too good. Y'all have had eye injections, so I have to stick my nose in them to see if there's pollen. Can y'all <laughs> see pollen on there? Back legs. No, yeah, I see one that's see one. I don't see any. I don't see, see any. Right there. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see any. Yeah, I see any. Do you think, I, I read somewhere about if they're fighting like that, that means one of them may be toxic and they're trying to go in and rob. I don't know. Or is he cleaning well, the other one? Well, there's usually a lot more than that. But he could fight. be drifting from one of these other hives and they know he's not supposed to be in there. Yeah. Could be something wrong with it. And one thing, y'all probably already know this. I'm, I don't know who knows what. You don't stand right directly in front, in front of the hive. Yeah. Yeah. Stand to the side because you're blocking them coming and going and going <laughs> like that. So Some of them are more sensitive than others. It didn't take anything. Yeah. Now put it back there. You know, just leave it just a second. It takes them a while in the morning to get going. Hopefully and then about mid-afternoon is when they're just yeah, all they're over there. Yeah, you just mm -hmm. Yeah, watch yeah. that ant bed over there. Yeah. They're not going to be anything. Yeah. Yeah. Just there. Just there. All right. Well, since we were curious about the bees on the landing board, we can take a look at these. I don't see anything just there. But they're very calm, aren't they? 
That stirred them up. They're good, aren't they? They got paperless tools. Paperless, paperless. One thing I noticed, he's got plastic frames and wood frames. Yeah. You want these? I noticed you didn't have any. No, I didn't bring any. Uh, you always start on one of the end ones because the main thing you don't want to do is roll your queen. So, I'm going to start with this one. One thing I see, I see some white wax, which has some new wax. Huh? Raise it up. I'll get the feather in those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got honey in this side. Mm -hmm. Capping just the very top edge of it. Looks like they got All the honey. All honey. Which is a good thing right now, mine are on the car. Mm -hmm. oh, you ain't got one with a hook. Huh? You ain't got a frame, one with a hook. All right, we yeah. got older cap brood. Okay. I got right. some queen cups. Oh. This one on my right, right here. Yeah. This one right here, if you look open? down in there, it has some, uh, I don't see a larva. Is yours open? Yeah, open. Oh, those would be swarm cells, right? These yeah, are swarm cells. Yeah, the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. If they were up in the middle or the top, it's considered a super, super procedure or an emergency. Or both of yeah, that one's open too. That's a pretty brood pattern, isn't it? Yes, the good brood pattern, and uh, that's an older brood. That's been there a while. I'm going to leave this one out so I don't I like think this hanger. I've got a hanger that I don't like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, ours is all made together. I like that one that yeah. you can uh, separate. Well, queen cells. I've got ro royal jelly is what I was trying to say. I've got royal jelly and this one that's dry. The one next to it may have a larva in it. My eyes are not good enough to... You can see the one yeah. here? Right. Right. This is right here. Pull it over this way and see if she can look up in there. Do you see? Not really. One it's thing I haven't got mine with me, I carry a flashlight. And yeah. it's really good it's for helping you look for eggs and looking for it's stuff all over the queen cell. There's something white in there. That's the That's royal jelly. The yeah. royal jelly, you know? Yeah. I do not see a lot. Okay. Well, what does that mean? Well, you could well, have if it's an got egg a larva in it, it's going to yeah, make I mean, I point. Know, but since it's got the royal jelly, but well, it's a, a good place. They're preparing. They're, they're preparing. Okay. And a lot of times they'll hang on. There. A lot of times they'll do it, and they don't. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm totally. They just <laughs> have them ready. They don't okay. necessarily got anybody in it, but they're okay. just ready if they need it. What, what do you wow. think that is? That was strong. Yes. They look like little pretty, bullets. Mm -hmm. Pretty frame of drawn comb. See, fine. there's a there's a queen cell that we yeah. broke. Yeah. No larva, but plenty of uh, royal jelly. A little bit of drawn comb. I hadn't seen a queen yet. What's one of the ways that you can, if you were looking for the queen, that you can spot it? They just bunched around it. Yeah. Be a little circle of these yeah. around it. Oh, yeah, wide. And I can blow and try to yeah. get them to move. They're putting, just, putting some honey in that hole. Okay. Because they start to backfill those edges. Okay. What thing interesting your brood's way up here in the top box? Well, like I said, last time I did one of Ricky's, I had brood in six or seven frames. Oh, my God. He, don't <laughs> he, don't use, he doesn't believe in excluders. queen excluders. So. Back no queen cell. All right, they're back. They're back filling. That Did means she can't lay there anymore. She's running out of room. Right. He needs to put on another. Right. Well, we don't know what's food. under this. It could be some empty ones. He may just need to oh. well, You can swap the boxes. Yep. Come on. Don't move. move. Got some drone cone down here and some <laughs> larva. Well, they have lots of honey, don't they? And He's got a lot more honey than I have. Me too. 
When you rub the hose, you want it later on. Later on. 90% cash. And, uh, wow. It's usually in our area, which is okay. about the same latitude. Well, how do you drone call? Drone call. Okay. End of June. This year it may be a little earlier. That's going to be home. Ain't no need to no. do that. And that's what Jim and I do. When we look at them and we see where the brood ends, we just close them back up and go back. Because if you want to disturb them as least as you can, because it takes them. Well, that's another thing. See how he's pushing them back together? Yeah, you have to. You want to be careful because you don't want to roll your queen, but you don't want to leave illegal bee space because they will fill it in with bird count. Well, we didn't move. This is going to be full of honey. You see some new wax down in there, full of bees. Okay, what's this frame called? I mean, what's this super call? It's a shower or a meeting? That's a shower, right? And all you see is nectar. Looks like the whole thing's going to be like that, isn't it? We've got this shower, 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 and a meeting. <laughs> You just use whatever you got. I guess so. Yeah. Okay, these these ladies are uh, not as minimal to be disturbed. That's some drone sales over here. Oh, you good. <laughs> That has got a larvae in it. Leave it alone, they may fix it to save it. Well, that looks like that was a larva right there from the one above. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Yeah. Use your foot. Well, I don't do too good like that. Jim does that. Pull straight up instead of sliding sideways. Okay. I'll put that hook in my Well, I'm not in a very good position. Those are, those are drone sales. They're really building off the bottom. Hmm? So they're really building off the bottom on the Yeah. Y'all hear them? Oh, yeah. Pretty nasty. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. I got some wonky comb there. We got a comb. Let's do some cleaning in here. I carry an old plastic coffee can around with me, and, put it in. and I put it in that and still leave it on the ground for green out of it. But you make medicines so too, don't you, you, out of some broken mm -hmm. system? Well, but that's got green in it. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do when we go through them and see stuff like that. We just yeah. do a little cleaning. Don't, what, what, if you look, don't do that, it's here. just going to be worse than. Oh my word! It's just going to be. I know. Hey, look down in there. Oh yeah. Now we're going to have to get that out. Let's look at that drone brood and see if you see any more of them. That's a good way to check they like the drone brood the best because they don't want to stay in there. How big is that little guy? They're tiny. Well, they oh, we're going back. I'm putting it back. Oh, yeah, we put it back. Okay, I'm sorry. Is this the time of year for them? 
They're they're in the colonies all year. They're twenty four seven. Their numbers are consistent with the bee numbers. No, this is head. This is just a head. Is that an eyeball? Is that a right? Is that an eyeball? You basically the mic right there. Okay. Yep. Look at him. You don't see him on that? Yeah. All you do is correct that. That's a whole nother class. Just read them. There's several different types of treatments, but when you got honey supers on them, you're kind of no, there's stuff you can do, but you have to be careful because some chemicals are not allowed to even have honey sweets. Okay, there is one loaded with pollen. Can you use oxygen and hmm? You can. One loaded well, with pollen. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's first one I've seen. <laughs> they keep backing up. Back when Europe, they used it for years. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to move. That's the nectar. I hate to smoke y'all, but better to get stoned. Another one with nectar. We need smoke too, we might be getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> I smoke myself quite often. Because they come smoke you, Yeah. They get mad at me. I bet it'd work though if you smoke somebody enough that they get over getting mad pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't breathe. I would. You can't, can't get mad. <laughs> Scrape that and walk that stinger off and they won't pull it. Alright, we got a little patch of bruise here. Got some larvae on this one. That's the first larva I've seen. We got larvae here. Got some cups. One's closed. One of them's got royal jelly in it. You got royal Shut jelly in there? Okay. Those are drones. Okay. You can scrape it. Slightly. You can't use it. He waits till we come in here. Yeah. Let somebody else do it. Yeah. 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 Talking about that royal jelly, is that a stage before the queen finally That's the food in? that they put in. There's some um, drones emerging. Yeah. See these drones emerging? Yeah, y'all look at that. That's yeah. Right here? Yep, yep, yep. They have to chew their way out. Yeah. I got to see one in, in one of mine the other day. This is a swarm that was caught Thursday. And I want to show you something about your frames. This is why I do not like solid plastic. They will break on you. Where and how did you catch that swarm? That one come from downtown Jasper. I shook it off of a tree into a bucket and brought it. When you put them in here, all you had was the frames had drawn out comb and that was it, right? Uh -huh. And they've done everything else? Yeah, they'll do everything else. This, having drawn comb, I think Randall will go along and Jim both. Mm. Having drawn comb, your swarms is more apt to stay. What do you say? At least a 95%. Yeah, I agree. It does help, for sure. Over new front, uh, new foundation? Yes. Yeah. Over new foundation. Definitely. Definitely. You have to slide that one this yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was going to do. And, and we'll leave it right there. Y'all get in here and look. 
got new wax. I guess that was. Y'all see the new wax that they have built on this? Mm -hmm. Now that's in two days. Now that, so this frame didn't have drawn out? Uh oh, it was like oh, this over okay, here. I see. Like yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's basically a new frame. Wow, that's past good. You see him, Ricky? I ain't seen her yet. Uh -uh. So when they're new like this, are they going to be pulling in pollen too, or not yeah. really for the first few days? Or? Yeah, they will want to, because there's forgers going to be in there. Wouldn't you think so, Ryan? Yeah, 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 I would say within a day or two, they'll, they'll be out. They'll be bringing in pollen. Well, the swarm is gorgeous with honey. Yeah, and they're gonna, they're ready to go, go to work. I don't know if you can see in here, but you see the. You can tell the new wax they built there, the color of it, mm -hmm. there on the edges. Mm -hmm. There's your hive beetle right there. You see the hive beetle going oh, across? Oh, yeah. They're trying to do something, but they... They'll catch them. Yeah. Maybe. I don't see nothing on that one, Jim. What's that one right there? Is that the queen? Possible. Yeah, that's her. Yep, there she is. Y'all come look at her. Right there. Yep, there oh, yeah. she is. Yep. Yep. She's hunting a dark spot. Yep. She, she, she'll be out of sight here in a second, so. We better, we better put her back over here. That's the reason I wanted to go in this one so y'all could actually see the queen. Because I knew this one, it'd be easy to find. I was going to say it's a little easier when there's only one box. Yeah. Right? And this, like I say, this is a, a new swarm. With this one, I know everybody is based. It kind of says 70% and then you add a box. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say this one is at? Right now, I'd say what about 50 run? Because they got a lot of work to do with what they got uh, they've there. Got, they've got space, so yeah. they're not no big rush that you're not no big rush to add more. Uh, so on a swarm that you just caught and put in here, how many days do you think it'll be before you need to just come over experience? I'll probably add one by the end of next week. Go ahead and add one. Because there's so much drawn out comb here. And two, a swarm of bees, when they come out, their first incentive is to work and build a new home. Yeah, they're, you know, they're ready to go. I think that's what y'all said in one of the You meetings. can also see right here the new wax they're building. The white. And I don't know why they want to build it up there. But you can see it. Now look at that stick there that well, I have got in there. I think one thing is you're feeding them. And that's a close place to yep that's the closest place, closest from, the place from the put it I guess and I do I, as many as my swarms I can I do put sugar water on at least a gallon that way it boosts them that gives some resources from the to, uh, how, long how long do you say that you just do one gallon then yeah. when, they're I, when that bucket's empty there Especially you're now into uh, your nectar flow. You're getting into that, and you're piling, and they can, they'll quit taking sugar water, and they'll go get the nectar. Because they'd rather have it than the sugar water. I have a question. How does this feeder work? Can I look at that other side of it? It's got some small holes in the top of that bucket. Uh, that okay. has got little holes in it, mm -hmm. and they go up there, and they suck the water out of yeah. it, the sugar water out okay. of it. And two, it'll drip some, and they'll when you turn clean it, up it up and put yeah. it back down, it'll drip some, but it'll stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Till the bees pull, the bees pull on it, and then it'll, it will bring it more down. A couple meetings ago, we were talking about swarms and everything. You said that a swarm, as far as that goes, they're primed to build wax, right? That's one of the biggest things. If you find a swarm, they'll fill up the. Well, they got to have a place to build their house. So that's what that's the first thing they do is go build and wax. They Depends do on that where so it's at. Place for the queen to lay. Yeah. Depends on where they're yeah. what they're looking at. Yeah. See like this one is had drawn out comb, that's where she'll go to lay in her eggs. Yeah, if you because got drawn out comb and they, she's ready to go to lay in the minute she hits a hits a box. And that's easier if they, she starts out and they're gonna stay there. Yeah, right. when she starts laying that pretty well there for the duration of their lives. Well, that 
box down there is the one that swarm come from. It's in the other box up there. <coughs> and that was a big swarm. And that's the reason this got two boxes on it. It's because it was so big. It filled that bottom one up. And then it also, it, I had drawn cone and nothing one too. So I got to give them a place to work. Just like the one that we opened up, y'all seen it was full. Mm -hmm. So I need to, I've got to super up. Mm -hmm. Because I gotta give my place to work. Thank you, Father. Still haven't seen it. That's why I like him. He's got the, the dot of paint on top of it. <laughs> Ricky, I thought all queens had a dot of paint on them. Yep. I don't. She's hiding. I think she is. She's there. She's here. got to be there. Yes, yeah, she can be on the wall. She could be. Could be. Yeah, there's several bees on the. Is that a bee yeah. on or her? That's a bee. Uh, she's in there somewhere. She could be in the other box. But I'll hold off too. I saved this and out. I want y'all to look at the brood pattern of that frame. What would you say the pull out on that frame would be? The percentage. Look on at this side. side. That one too. You know, hole a brood pattern like that very much. The holes in there could be used for for heat. going from you know trans you know from one side to the other or for heating. That's the first time I've seen a frame like that, Ron. What's that? Fully capped Fully like capped. that. Oh, I've just seen a few on that other yeah. side. Did you? Yeah. There's not often you'll see that, though. No. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Yeah. How much cow broods on that frame? Yeah. yeah. A lot of brood. Hear about Ricky's frame right here on the edge, on the end, how he has pins, those pins? Yeah. They help hold this comb in? Yep. Right. This, there's a bee I've seen right there. It's telling me there's still a queen in there. It's pollen. She just, she just don't want to be found. She don't want to be found today. She could be a real dark color too, and real hard to see. Sometimes you'll get them in there so, they'll get so big, when you take them out, you wonder, you'll almost tear up something to get one frame out. Uh-huh. And then, if I can, sometimes I'll leave a frame out at that point. And two, we don't know that she's not up here. Because we did not open this one up and look. A lot of nectar in that. All well, that dark comb means they already had brew in there. This is uh, and they're back one of the boxes I used to have where I'd lost some these and I keep them for this. this these bees come out of that trunk, Randall. There she is. Yep. That's why we didn't find her in the other one. Right here she is. Y'all see her? Yep. yep. Beautiful. Well, she's doing her thing. I'd, I'd dance like that too, sweetie. <laughs> <coughs> Questions? Anybody? Ricky, when you notice when you notice when Ricky puts that box on, you notice that the edge is kind of ate up, rotted yep. away. It's time to right. change the box. But he's still using it. The bees, the bees are coming and going from there. There's another instance. Yeah. Sometimes I had a when if they ever started robbing, you have nothing else. I've used mud and stick mud in them cracks. It, uh, I mean, it helps temporary if you got nothing else. That brick right there, rock, whatever you got on there is uh, important to me is I use that to tell me something about that high when I go into it. If I pull that brick back like that and leave it, that tells me that hive is queenless. I need to do something. If I put that brick right there, that tells me I need to put sugar water on there needing food. 
that tells me it so hides okay. What well, tells you if you have to have a another box? <laughs> Don't get one then. Oh. <laughs> but a lot of times I'll do this. Okay. For, like Towards it needs a box. That tells me it needs a box. That tells me the queen might not be there. That tells me I need to feed it. That tells me we're good to go. That tells you a story right there. You don't have to go back and say, now which one was that I was supposed to put sugar water in? <laughs> that, that, that brick tells you the story. I don't know if Randall uses it, but I'm highly use that brick for stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, I use it too. I use a brick and I have a, shar a sharpie with me sometimes. I write little scribbly notes too on top. Yeah. But they won't <laughs> last long unless you put paint on But that just, that tells me though, okay, say I'm working this yard and then I come turn around and say, wait a minute, I had one that was cleanest. All I got to do is come back and look. Okay, this is the one that was cleanest. This is the one that needs sugar water. This needs another super. No, nope, it's fine. I got a block on this one, it'll do the same thing. Sugar water. Need your soup. I'm okay. When you start working 30 and 40 highs, you got you can't it's hard to remember all of them if you've not got them numbered. But that you, you can number them and do the same thing. But I use the bridge. To tell me the story of what I need to do. Just like the hive that we went into back here. We've got to have a super gym. Mm -hmm. But when I go put a super, I'll put two on it. Make these girls work. What does that one look like, Wayne? Uh, I have found no queen cells. I haven't found a queen either. Okay. No queen cells, good laying pattern, plenty of brew. Out of room on the top. You need another super. A lot of. I don't spend a lot of time finding the queen. I usually just don't need it. Let's see what we find on this frame. More than likely, she's on. We shook her off right there. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> well, what's wrong with the frame? Anything? Anything wrong with it? Yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with it. You, Randall? Not from the, not from this angle. Nothing that stands out. Nothing. Looks great to me. Looks fine. Yeah. They back filling. They're laying. Good laying pattern again. There's five, six day old. Aren't those about five or six day old random right around here? I <laughs> yeah, I would say that's right. See what I'm saying? Corner. Five or six days ago, you did say you had a queen. So if you come back next week and you still find five or six day old eggs, you had a queen last week. If you don't wear gloves, you know what that means. You're more, you're more, uh, you're more accountable for your actions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is true. Oh, what's wrong with this frame? Anything? I wouldn't say wrong would be the word. What's going on here? A lot, a lot of drone. So yeah. why would we have a lot of drone? Is that bad? I don't know. Huh? What do you think? Think it's bad? Bad, it's not really oh, look at her little pouches. She's so orange. That's that's her pollen sac. Yeah, pollen in. It's not bad, considering we haven't seen many full frames of drone. This is the only one, only yeah. one we've ever we've seen. We've seen a few. Let's shake these off and look. What's going on? This drone cells. Some blue. Lake seven. See the bigger empty ones? The empty cells that the drones already hatched out? Mm -hmm. One way of, of varroa 
uh, treatment. It would be yeah. right, shake all the bees off this frame and put this in the freezer. You would kill all those drones. You would kill all the varroa that's inside those cells also. And you bring it back and give it to them. They'll uncap it, cannibalize the protein, and they'll reuse the honey. Just make sure it's back to near temperature, not super cold when you put it in your hive. Leave it in there for two to three days in the freezer if you do that. They don't like the heat of your hand. See this? They don't like your heat. They'll move away from you. Give them a chance to move. This is a heavy one. Means probably more nectar and honey. Fur comb? Yeah. Same thing. A lot of bees to find the queen. How would you find the queen since we were unable? What's the suggestion? You got to know where the queen is. Whatever you're doing, you got to know where the queen is, right? Say whatever your task, you just have to know where the queen is. What would I do because I couldn't find her? I would get me another box sitting over here to the right of me. Uh, I would put a shake of frame of baby bees, a, a, a brew, make sure all the bees are off and check that frame really good and put it in there. I'd continue to do that with four or five frames or more, put them in there. I'd do it with all my frames and then put them in there. The bees would only have a few in here. I'd put a queen excluder on this box with all the bees are in it. I'd put my box back here. All the bees that come up are not the queen. Then I know whatever I'm going to do with that box, I know the queen's not there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I can find drones. Maybe a queen there. No, it's a drone. But if you move them, like if you want to move around, you can just touch them. Okay, they'll move away. But if you want to kit pick one up, you go here and you get this one here. That's a drone. Put your glove off. <laughs> hold her like I am. Two fingers. No, I want you to hold her. I'll be, no stinger, okay? <laughs> no stinger well that's his hive alright sir can you be so nice to pick those up alrighty try to line it up like he's doing Where he's looked for bees up there you're going to kill some bees there's no way around it Then your inner cover. So this hive would need Cooper. We'll put this cover back on. You can take that. Uh, stuff. Yeah. We'll pick it up and move it out of here. It's not a good idea to leave that out in your apiary. We're all guilty of it. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed the highlights of uh, this open hive demonstration. I tried to float around to all three of the presentation parties there. There was about 20 to 22 people present. I didn't count exactly, but it was definitely a good time and enjoyment. If you don't have something similar to this in your area, I think it's a good idea. Like I said at the beginning, get together, share ideas, compare notes. I know it's valuable to me when I can talk to other beekeepers. If I see something happening in my yard that's maybe a little bit out of the ordinary, like this spring, for instance, uh, completely out of the ordinary. So when you can compare notes with others, it's uh, to me, it's very valuable information. Thank you for taking the time to join me for this video today, and we'll catch you on the next one.